Hi, my name is Stefan Hillen from DeepFrames and in this video I will introduce you to cameras in 3ds Mix. We will cover how to create cameras, the most important parameters and how to manage cameras in the scene. So to create a camera you have to go to the create panel. So this is the create panel where this plus is and then you have to select in the categories cameras and then you will find this button called physical. So you can click on physical and then drag, click and drag in the scene and this will create a new camera, a new physical camera to be more correct. And in 3ds Max uh, this camera consists now of a camera and a target. The, the square here is the target and the target is like a helper object and if you move it the camera will always look to this target object. And so you can't with a targeted camera you can't rotate the camera because it's always looking to the square. And to change that you can select the camera here and go to the modify panel and here will you will find all the parameters for the camera so here on the top is targeted so if you uh, uncheck that uh, this target is now disappeared and you can rotate the camera f freely again um, now I will create a few objects in front of the camera. So we have a very basic scene and to look through the camera you have to go here to perspective and cameras and click on this. Uh, here have a, you have a list of all cameras so I only have one camera in the list which is called physical camera. Uh, zero, zero, 001 and I can click now here and I will look through the camera and to move the camera now to change the camera view uh, you can use these eight icons here in the bottom right corner to navigate the cameras it's very similar to navigate the scene so I can click on orbit now and move the camera here so I see uh, all my objects and to select the camera again you can click here on camera and on select camera and now if I go to the modify panel we can change all the parameters for the camera again. So in 3ds Max um, the, uh, yeah, the you can change the focal length here um, so this is here the focal length, so I can set it maybe to 24 millimeters, so this is a wider angle or to 80 millimeters. Uh, this will change the field of view also, um, how much you see. And you can also enable depth of field for the camera. So this is this and you will also see it in the viewport, but at the moment the effect is very tiny because the aperture, which is here, it's uh, set to 8, so it's quite a small aperture and if I set it maybe to 1.2, um, that's a bigger aperture, so the lens is more open and uh, the effect will be stronger. If I go now a bit closer or I can also change the focal length to maybe 80 millimeters that will also increase the effect. Um, now you can see that some uh, that the objects are already blurred a bit, and so the the it should be. I, I will go back to a targeted camera. Um, that's so I will check this again. And now I have a target. Maybe I will go to the in the top view. And so you can go to the top view by clicking here on this physical camera and then top. And now the target is uh, in front of the object. I will move it 
maybe more to this middle object to this box and go to the camera again and now um, all the objects in front of this box and behind the box are more blurred So you can also enable motion blur here in the camera, but it's not visible in the viewport. Um, another thing I want to show is the auto tilt correction. Um, so in 3ds Max, I um, it doesn't work very well with depth of field in the viewport. But in the rendering it does work. But uh, to show it now, I will disable and uh, disable the depth of field again, and I will go here in front uh, of this box and set the focal length maybe to 20, and go very low with the camera. So if you go low with the camera and have a wider angle with a shorter shorter focal length. Uh, these lines here are, are converging and in architectural visualization that's often not um, looking very good and you can fix that very easily with this auto vertical tilt correction here. So checking this uh, is making these lines here straight again. Okay, this was the introduction to cameras in 3ds Max. I will put a link to this free cheat sheet uh, in the description and hope to see you in the next video.